Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks. For a country that churns out the world's largest number of engineers every year, it's astoundingly tough to find school students who love math. Our next guest believes that the fault lies with their education system that focuses the attention of children on attaining high marks and not necessarily understanding the concepts. 24-year-old Devesh Patija is on a mission to change that. Founded in 2012, his venture Dinism Learning combines the much-feared subject with games and activities and they've already trained over 6,000 students. So take a look at how Devesh is removing the phobia around math. With a single-minded mission to re-approach the crucial but much-feared subject of mathematics with fun, Devesh Patija founded Dinasim Learning in 2012. So whenever I come in, remember one thing, you should never carry books with you. Am I clear? Yes. Okay. Dinasim helps students view math from a concept point of view rather than a mechanical score perspective. And to achieve this, it employs exciting games and activities in its workshops that take place at individual, group and school levels. Whoa. While games like Angry Birds help students learn decimals, soccer equips students to calculate percentages in a fun way. If I have to compare one, two and three, what do you <laughs> Targeting students from grade 5 to grade 10, Dinasim Learning has trained over 6,000 children and it's now looking at hitting a turnover of 25 lakh rupees by year end. We've made it easy for schools. We kept both the options open wherein we said either you want to charge per student or you want to charge per visit. So depending on that, if it's a per visit thing, if it's within Bombay, outside Bombay, roughly, we are anywhere between 12 to 20,000 for a visit wherein we spend six hours in a school, which is uh, a lot of time to spend in a school and, you know, train the children during that time. And every hour we do a different session. So, for example, there are six sessions conducted in one go. If it's outside Bombay, then the figure may be a little higher because the travel cost has to be incorporated in that. But otherwise, uh, if it's a per student model also, then the fees come pretty low, like it goes as low as 1000 rupees for a child for a year, which is like, you know, not even 100 rupees a month. And that helps them to, you know, not feel the pinch of it, but at the same time, we can reach out to more number of students. So that's precisely how we can, you know, we help uh, to reach out to more number of students. Making math fun in a totally different way, Devesh claims that by seeking the elements of popular sport like cricket, he's not only making students practice math by calculating scores, but he's also bringing students back on the playground, a feature he believes his online competitors lack. After tasting success with schools in Mumbai, Thani and the Sindhya school in Golia, Devesh now wants to take Dinasim Pan India and is exploring modules for class 11 and 12. Conducting over 50 hours of training a month, Devesh hopes to double the number in the next six months as he plans to double his trainers as well. It is now time for us to go international. If the thought of numbers, equations and math in general gets you nervous, how about combining it with a little bit of fun and games? Saurabh Gupta explains how numbers can be fun with a game of football. Does your child do dread the world of mathematics? Fear not. This is not just a game of soccer. What these children are learning is the concept of percentages outside their classrooms on the football field. Your score was minus three. Yes. You dropped the catch. So what happened? Minus two means mm. minus five. Perfect. The complex world of numbers now simplified and fun to learn. So play football. One upon two, so how much that's basically half of it? So that's 50%. How much is that? 50%. And pick up how to calculate percentages. Wow. That was nice. What's the score? 135, 145. Perfect. Co find of the average. Quick. Or through a game of darts, the concept of averages. They were having one tension about studying the maths. So that has been reduced. From Mumbai to Thane to the prestigious Sindhya school in Gwalior, the brain behind these modules, 24-year-old Devesh Bhatijia, who gave up his real estate job at a multinational company just to teach kids. 
You know, when I was studying abroad, I saw that what mostly Indians uh, do have an approach towards education is just to study for exams. While playing, if they're able to study, that's the time when children are most excited. And when you're excited and you can get something getting going over there, it's the best opportunity. And now, municipal schools do hoping to join in. Approximately 90% of them hate mathematics. And if you say another 10% who like mathematics, most of them like it because they can score something in it. That's it. Innovative methods that focus on removing fear and making maths more than just numbers. In Mumbai with camera person Abdullah Zakaria, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. Let's see how the NDTV Nirmal marks for sports.